Hey YouTube, what's up? It's the boss Ella and welcome to my channel. Hopefully y'all can hear me and y'all can see me. I am going to show you how I quickly turn a pillowcase from the Dollar Tree into a little curtain. I am at someone's house who has like the smaller bathroom window and smaller kitchen window so it's very easy usually to turn these 20 inch by 30 inch um, standard size pillowcases into a curtain. So if y'all wanna see how I do that, the tools I'll be using today uh, came from the Dollar Tree. This is a screwdriver set that they have that they sell for a dollar. Each of these pillowcases costs a dollar. And I also got this adjustable curtain rod from the Dollar Tree. Now, not all Dollar Trees have these items. I did actually have to look around to find these items. So hopefully there's enough light in here uh, for y'all to see what I'm doing. You can definitely see this window. I hope you can see this window. I'll just be using some scissors today, although y'all can get all technical and use uh, fabric glue, hot glue guns, get on your sewing machine, use your hand to sew something, but when I don't have that kind of time, I'm gonna show you uh, really quickly what I do. So, the first thing that we're going to do is open the curtain rod. And this is a curtain rod that is adjustable, 26 inches to 46 inches when extended. And like I said, they don't always have these, but I found a Dollar Tree that did have them and they come with a little hot hardware. You see that? Now I'm going to take this curtain rod and see just what we need to do on this window. So you can see that's where I'm going to put this curtain rod. You may need a, you want to use a pencil. I got a marker today because this is all I got to work with, so show y'all. I would definitely want it about here and here. And I'm just going to dot where I'm gonna put that. The Dollar Tree doesn't have these little levelers, but they have the big yellow ones. So if you want to, um, you know, get all technical and level it and see if it's level and stuff. You can definitely do that by one of those at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to set the rod here. We don't have a power drill. We're just going to use our power drills. Okay, your hand. And this is the hardware. Let's take it out of the bag. We are going to put these bad boys up. Okay, so this is a little magnetic leveler that I got years ago somewhere. I have no idea, but as you can see, there's a magnet in it. You put it on here and you see that? It lets you know what's level and what isn't level. And right now, right now we level. Okay, right chin. That's where we're gonna put it, all right? Now sometimes, Getting this screw started may be something that you get some help with. Unless you just really, really strong. You done took your vitamins and ate your spinach. Ooh, child getting tired. And do it yourself shows make it look easy, don't it? Okay, so I have put up some little brackets. Can y'all see the brackets? What happened to my angle? I'm happy to my angle. Oh, bowhead. All right, so I have put up some little brackets. 
because now if I can find out what I did with the with that. And here's the rod. See that? So before I put up the rod, let me show you really quickly. And you may want to y'all see me with my dog in here. Alright. You may want to iron your pillowcases. I just take them right out of the package. And they look like this. This is how they look. And as you can see, they are long enough for the window. We are not going to do any sewing. What I'm going to do is take the pillowcase, turn it inside out, where you can see the seam. Turn it inside out where you can see the seam, okay? Take my scissors, and that's super y'all from here, and you know, I ain't in here. Ooh, man, that must be. All right, so I am going to just cut. Don't cut the top of the thing, just cut a little bit. Cut out a little. Make sure you have some good scissors. Okay, these scissors we fight right now. Okay, so I just cut out a little pot, a little part like that. And you do it on both sides. Do it on the side where the pillowcase is closed, of course. And make a little incision. Right, and that is really messy but you see I just put a little hole in that and you flip it right back over flip it right back over now you just undo your curtain rod like this hand that makes it easier and wherever you put the little slit Let me put the little slit. Although I've made my slit. See my finger sticking out of there? I made it a little small. I am going to put this curtain through here eventually. And you can see it's coming through. All right. And I simply go in here this to the other side where we made the now I know we made an incision over here oh please And on this side, you don't want to cut the seam like I just did. Just cut, depending on how your curtains are, cut it on the back here. I just take this up right here. And cut a little slit. Looking like fail. Come on, girl, brown. All right. And you just put it in there like that. No sewing, no nothing. You don't have to worry about it because that's how it's going to look on the end. And this over here, you can simply just tuck it in there.
Just tuck it back in there like that. You see that? Okay. And we are going to do the other side the same way. Take this one. Y'all still with me? Okay. Take this pillowcase. This is the second one. Unfold it. Y'all can iron it if you want to. If you do, I would lightly steam it because it is polyester and honey, it will stick to your iron like a piece of cheese and you don't want that. Okay. All right. We turn this inside out. It's probably easier if you use like a seam ripper or something like that, but on this side where there's a seam, we don't cut, we don't cut the seam. We're gonna cut right in front of the seam. And then on this side, we just cut a little triangle out of here so that the hole goes through. All right, we are going to cut this side. And all you do is make a little incision. This hole was too big, but it's okay. See that? We did a little hole right there. Go to this side, okay? And you make an incision, make an incision, like right in here. Do not cut the seam, okay? Let me show you what I mean. If I can get this bad boy flat, let's see. Oh, you just take it here. And kind of fold it, make sure it's not on the seam. And make sure you're not cutting the other side. And you simply just cut a little incision. See that? Or made a little hole. If you make the hole too big, that's okay. Never fear. Take the other side of the curtain. And put it through the first hole. Take it on through the pillowcase. To the little incision that you did simply tuck it like so and there you have it now let me scoot this back let me get the camera where y'all can see exactly what i'm doing okay so y'all see all right let's see what we see all right so you take the rod, put it back like that, and oh lord, this is coming out the wall. That makes no sense. This old house. All right, y'all looking. We have made curtains. Wait a minute. All right, so y'all can see it. You have some window treatments and you didn't have to sew or anything. Straight out the package. Um, oh, this floor is creaking. I'm in old house, y'all. Don't get scared. All right, so you see you have done the window treatments straight out of the package. Y'all see the window treatments out of the package. This is from the Dollar Tree. $1 for this curtain rod, $1 for this pillowcase, $1 for this pillowcase, and then $1 for two screwdrivers. 
All right, and always, if you wanna make some little tie backs or something, you can use ribbon. They have all kinds of ribbon there. They have all kinds of hair bows and stuff that you can use to do some serious decoration. So, if you wanted to make a little tie back, let me show you how really quickly. If you want to make a little tie back, you simply, ooh, let me move this tool. All right, y'all there? Okay, you simply take a little piece of, of string or whatever it is you want to use and I'm gonna use about this much. Let me see. We're going to use about this much. And I'm just gonna cut it here. And if you don't have small children to worry about, you can take some push pins. I got the gold ones. You want to get all fancy with your push pins. And you just take your little gold push pin, take your little tie back, And simply just, oh Lord, push it in the wall like that. All right, y'all see that? We just took a push pin and pushed it in the wall. Okay? Let me get my tools out of here. Let me take this off so y'all can see. All right, so this is the little window treatment. I just put a push pin there with some of the little lace ribbon. Um, this is a child. This is the curtain. All right. So Y'all see how to make curtains. When you don't want to use your little window treatment, you simply just do like that. All right, y'all got that? Okay. All right, so here is the finished product. I'm um, putting the pillowcases up as curtains the no sew method you don't need a sewing machine you don't need anything but a screwdriver curtain rod and a set of pillowcases or however many pillowcases you want to do and usually when it's a longer window i just simply hot glue the pillowcases together or you can hand sew them together with needle and thread Okay, so this is just another example of something that can be done. At the top of this curtain, this is a 99 cents lace runner from the 99 cent store. It's actually for a table or um, chest or armoire or dresser, but I just stuck it up there. Um, that may be kind of corny to some, but if you don't have any window treatments um, and you have about six dollars then this is on point right here and in another video i will show y'all how to make even longer curtains um for your windows but this is just another example of something from the dollar tree curtains from the dollar tree no sewing um yeah okay so to coincide with your pillowcase window treatments. The Dollar Tree also sells washcloths that match some of the pillowcases like these little green ones, two for a dollar and these are 100% cotton. And then they also have the hand towels. They also had a cute little bath rug uh, to put down. Now these bath rugs, honey, if you don't use a nun slip something under them you will bust your butt okay so i suggest getting the shelf liner the nun slip shelf liner and simply just cutting this behind there the length of the rug so that you know you just won't be sliding all over the place when you try to put this little dollar rug on the floor okay um let's see have i covered everything yeah so
Uh, I think I've covered just about everything I wanted to show y'all as far as like the window treatment for the shorter windows, like the bathroom and kitchen windows. Uh, this works for bathroom and kitchen windows, something really, really simple. Y'all see that? This is just the little Dollar Tree runner that I put up there. Well, actually, this came from the 99 cent store, and I just set it up there. It's not up there permanently, but it's just sitting up there to, to kind of show y'all uh, what it is that you can do for your curtains. And you can decorate these any kind of way you want to. You can put flowers on here. You can put um, ribbon on here. They have the little burlap ribbon if you wanted to give it that little country theme. And of course you don't have to use this color curtain. I know this is like uh, like the 70s green or something like that, but you know, the, pe the older people like this. So this is what I used where I am. Uh, but they have pink satin pillowcases. They have black and white pillowcases. They have different color pillowcases at different times. So you just might wanna periodically pop in and out of your Dollar Tree to see what they have at the time. And like I said, I don't always get the great things from one Dollar Tree. I may be traveling and stop at a number of Dollar Trees to get what I get. So uh, yeah, just be on the lookout, you know, for the special things at the Dollar Tree. Make a list of what you need at the Dollar Tree and that will stop you from buying just like frivolous things because the Dollar Tree always has something extra that we need. I'm about to do a Dollar Tree haul right after this, so. I was just in there like two, three days ago, and I'm back. I'm sorry. I just, it's just, it just gets like that sometimes. All right. Well, I thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Thumbs up this video. Please share because somebody might need a $6 window treatment, honey. You just never know. All right. I will talk to y'all later. See y'all in the next video.